are up on Cloud Kingdom. So this is going to give a little bit more opportunity to MKP's aggressive builds as it has that flat entrance at the opening. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really, really treacherous position to be in as I'm sure we're already underway actually here in this first game. So without further ado, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner here as our yellow Terran once again, currently one game down on the verge of elimination. He is Marine King Prime. And up in the top right-hand corner, blowing everyone's mind with his saucy, sexy Protoss play in the PBT matchup. Can he pull it off? It is no Teams Brown. No Team Brown, no Team Brown. He's looking good. Um, but will he look good in game number two? Marine King on this map. Uh, I don't know. I think he might pull out all the stops here. I mean, he's on the verge of elimination, right? So, of course, he's going to pull out all the stops. It'd be kind of weird if he didn't. Um, but still... Still, we could see the aggressive Marine King, although I do like the options to go into a longer macro game. Cloud Kingdom's just really cool for that. I like it. I want aggression. You want aggression. I want aggression. Aggression's oh. what I want, it's what I need, and there's no reason I can't have it, and there's no reason Marine King would not provide that to me, depending on his various whims and wills. So let's see what he's up to. He's built one barracks thus far, and that total jerk nard is actually just building SCVs. Ugh. Uh, yes, a oh. geyser! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> well, aggression abound, potentially, as we will have Brown now, just opening with Gateway, and then Assimilator, but... What is Brown going to do from here? He's actually going to see this gas, and I think he's just going to go into his robo on one base into expansion eventually again. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he pops in here and sees this early gas to go, ah, oh, well, I enjoy easy games. Last game was what would be defined as an easy game. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Sure. It's a good shot. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> but no, Brown here. You're right. He, he, if he just goes for his the same build he went for last time, there's second gas already going down. So he's already gearing up for something very, very similar to game number one. And, you know... Oh, oh. I oh, think oh, oh. Rain King Prime is about to do the meta smack to the face. He's going to be going for Reaper Expand into some sort of combat shield and or stim three racks play. And that's going to be excellent against this one basing play from Brown. Yeah. There's the Reaper coming up. And the... <laughs> the probe comes up and sees it again. Now that's just freaking awful. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I love... Wow, that was harsh, but true. Uh, I mean, that is like that is as <laughs> awful as as it can get. Just keep keep him out. <laughs> I I completely agree. Uh, has, everything's been read here. He can technically read this. He's positioning a pylon in a position that would instantly give him a notification as to whether or not a Reaper is on the way. So, Ugh. yeah. Not, not a good position. I would describe this position as stinky for NKP. <laughs> However, he is already starting the combat shield quite early. One of the benefits of going for the Reaper expand. Yop, yop. But here comes Mr. Stalker. He's doing all right for himself, is Brown. Stalker's on the route to just try and catch everything. And actually, I think they're just going to cross path straight away. Is this really going to happen? No, apparently not. Get in the probe, get in the probe, get in the probe. Dead dead. Now, that that is a little bit of, of relief right there. You actually get the probe. Uh, but, I mean, Marine King Prime, I would, I would define as just generally a little ways behind the opponent. Just due to the fact that everything's been seen... The defense can now be established perfectly. Brown is not worried about building extra gateways. He can freely go straight for the robo. Ordinarily, if you saw someone having barracks gas, you would be forced to build extra gateways. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very important to note there. Uh, I mean, he's going to go for extra gateways after the robo, but you're right. Just getting the robo before the gateways really gives a good signification here that Brown is pretty stable, pretty happy with his position here. And meanwhile, back home for MKP, adding on that second gas, getting a few barracks as well. So, Stim started up, so he will be able to hit that timing that he wants to eventually, but actually that plus one's really quick. Mm, nom nom nom. Yeah, that's a very, very swift plus one. Uh, it looks like he's trying to have it um, align with some sort of future attack. I don't think he's going to have a plus one attack, but he might even have a plus one one attack. Um, actually, you know what that... 
yeah, looking at that timing, that, that plus one attack is not going to line up with anything. He just sort of got it, so I mean, that's fine. Nothing wrong with upgrades. His 2-2 two -two will start a little earlier, and some nice pickups by MKP, having a grand total of five workers killed by Mr. Reaper Reaper. Yeah, Reaper did himself all right. Did himself justice as he now... I mean, it's funny because Reapers on this map actually most of the time don't even jump into their opponent's bases. Sometimes you just see a lot of Reapers chilling out in the middle of the map, holding the watchtowers, and being happy with themselves, and mm -hmm. it's actually a pretty cool way of establishing some map control early on. Wow. MKP going straight in for that starport. This is, uh, again, one of the benefits of going for this quite quick Reaper play. You're going to be getting your starport tech up quite swiftly. The, the defining trade of the matchup, in my eyes, is the 10-minute timing push. Mm -hmm. The 10-minute Marine medevac, all the things push, it's just so brutal. If you mean even the, if you're two medevacs with it and just kind of having... Yeah. Yeah, I get you, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is... And, I mean, the Protoss has to be able to defend a strong push with stim and healing at the front, must be able to defend some sort of drop tech at the back, and now MKP has that plus one, um, or has the stim, has the combat shield, has plus one attack. This is turning into an extremely standard game, and the question is, how is Brown's very standard defense? Yeah, it's... You're right. It's that two minute, that two medevac push is going to end up coming here, and with that, it's going to be down to that first colossus is going to be out. Does MKP feel bold and ballsy enough to just stim up and try and snipe it out outright? And I would say MKP is the kind of guy that he's favorite aggression. He's damn well going to try and take that opportunity, and Brown's going to have to be very, very cautious here in his defense. Well, here comes Ring King Primes. Big ol' push. There's the one Colossus up. Very typical sort of element to this. Ooh, some nice little force fields to pick off the Marines, but I'm I'm questioning if you really want to do that when you have three sentries um, and not that many other gateway units. I mean, throwing down two force fields to delay is going to be pretty big, and here he is, arriving right at the scene of the crime. Yeah, as he still doesn't have that many gateway units. Once again, he's throwing down even more force fields. He catches a few more Marines and will pull back. Not even a single Zell actually lost there. Brown's defenses actually here aren't too bad, but I, I have to agree. I mean, sometimes keeping that sentry energy for that big engagement is, is sometimes very, very pivotal. <laughs> yeah, and there's the engagement up. It looks like the Colossus, because it doesn't have range yet, is vulnerable Ooh. to Marines. Oh, my God, and he misses it and has no more force fields. Oh, oh. oh. He's gonna lose a Colossus to just Marines. No way. Oh my God. Oh, that is why you just have to be so oh. careful. <laughs> oh no. Instantly dropping the mule, making his opponent look like the fool. Too true, man, too true. I mean, the, the one Colossus is out and actually it's wrecking a ton of these Marines in turn, but there's just, there's been so many workers killed off. 22 workers with more on the way. And actually he's been forced to pull all his probes off as well. Trying to deal with this, the last Colossus falls down to that one Marauder shot. GG. Oh, gosh, you know, oh. the, 